Hi YouTube, my name is Josh Strife Hayes, we're going to play Cuphead. I've completed Cuphead before, full disclosure, so I'm going to start a new game. We're going to go through every boss, every kind of um, extra level, and just see what we can do. So start, Island 4 is 96%, pretty close. I'm going to delete that one, and we'll start a new game there. Everyone on Twitch is joining me as well. We've got Archimedes and Scotty in the chat hanging out with us. And you're more than welcome to leave a comment on the YouTube video. And I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. So, let's, let's do some narration. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. <laughs> One day, the two boys wandered far from home and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, explained King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the Devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, which is rolling two ones on two dice. Laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There, there, there must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. And to answer your question, Archimedes, is Mugman a playable character? Yes. Cuphead is one of the few games that has couch co-op or local multiplayer so I could sit here playing with my controller and someone else could sit and play with the keyboard or another controller one player controls Cuphead one player controls Mugman it's a throwback to the old school games what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into uh, I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil that's how the kettle speaks but if you refuse I can't bear to imagine your fates you must play along for now collect those contracts and you best be ready for some nasty business your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them in fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. Thanks, crazy old man giving me drugs. I appreciate it. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. It was heroin, wasn't it? It was definitely heroin. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Josh, help answer the question. Do you watch Stranger Things? Josh, how the frick do you fold no show socks? What? Scotty, I have no idea. I do not watch Stranger Things, and I do not... Who folds socks? Scotty, I'm a streamer. I'm an actor. I don't know these domestic things. Who knows how... No one. No one in the world knows how to fold a sock or a fitted sheet. Duck, hold down to crouch. Gotcha. A. Jump. Tap for short. Okay. Hold for high. Short. High. Y. Dash. Quick evade on ground or air. Dash. Dash. Jump. Dash. I understand. Jump. Dash. Down plus A. Descend. Gotcha. Shoot. I've changed that to be the right trigger. X. Lock. Stay in place. Cool. Makes sense. Parry. 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 Get here. Parry that dude. EX move. B. Gotcha. Collect coins. Done. Exit. We are there. That was nice and simple. I should be a game journalist. Because <laughs> I can do tutorials. Ooh. Shot at game journalism. Seriously, that was an embarrassing video. Off we go. Let's go and do things. If you are watching on YouTube, please remember you can watch live nightly from 10pm GMT, twitch.tv forward slash Josh Strife Hayes. Come and say hi. If you are from YouTube, come and say hey, we've just finished our Dark Souls run. <gasps> Mr. Tomato? 
Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, horse getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting, but now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. And he gives me some coins. You receive three gold coins. Whoop, whoop. Where did you get the coins from? Are you mugging people? Okay, shop. Let's go to the shop. Pork rinds emporium. It's a bit harsh calling a pig pork rind. Two things that are made of him. Um, is that the one I want? Great coverage with average damage. Aim backwards for maximum range. Yes, please. And I also need four for the eight-way spread. Cool. That'll do. I love the little timer in the corner. He's so cute. The one that jumps over. Yes, I have got to equip them. I'm going to equip them just there. Brilliant. Cool. And this seems to be the first one. Botany Botanic Panic. I will end every YouTube video after we've killed the boss. Botanic Panic. So aim backwards. And then parry that guy. Shooting backwards makes this a lot easier. There we go. One, two, jump and parry you there. That's the three parries. This guy is going to pop up in the middle. So shoot all three of those at you. Come on! The great thing about the returning attack is, depending on whether I'm running left or right, I will still hit him. I can run left and right and know my attack is still going to do something useful. Then just shoot straight up. Shoot straight up, apart from the carrots, obviously. And then dodge out the way of the special attack that he's going to throw at me. He should be close-ish to death by now. Not going to be that long. I mean, this level's not that hard, to be fair. As long as you take out all the carrots as and when they attack you. There we go, got him. That was nice and simple. Botanic panic. Done and done. And let's just have a quick look at the results with the very loud clock ticking in the background. That's probably loud enough for my mic to pick up, actually. Everything's gold. Grade goes to an A+. Whoop, whoop. That, we're not going to keep that kind of score going. It's Yeah, it's going to start strong and then get weak. We're not going to be able to keep up with that. First boss gives us a flag, and some stairs appear. Fantastic. The Root Pack, soul contract done. We've got you, the devil. We are on our way. Twitch, don't go anywhere. We're carrying on. YouTube, come back in the next video. Thank you for joining us so far. I'm going to break this down into every individual boss, so if you know which boss you want to watch, you can just jump straight to that one. It makes it quicker for everyone. Twitch, don't go anywhere.